like a till of the hun. I came here to conquer. Lanes bring the beef. I tell them no donker. They wanna play games. I shock them like Blanca. They still rudimentary. I'm tough like Tonka. And let me get this off my chest. I'm hearing going nowhere, so hate to take a rest. Ain't nothing handed, just working hard, sweating. You can take that to the bank. I know I did bet. Welcome to episode 12 of Eye of the Storm. I, of course, am your host, Tempest. Please be sure to hit the like button, and if you're new and like the content, be sure to leave a sub. Hit the notification bell to know when the next video goes up, because it really does help the channel out. And if you haven't seen the previous episodes, feel free to give those a look as well. I have started a playlist for ease of access. I also do other things such as my own music, uh, montages, and a few other things. So please be sure to take a look at those as well if you have a chance. And with that out of the way, let's get started. Well, actually, before we do get started, just wanted to mention that we had the release of Muten Roshi for DBFC, and there also seems to be some interesting mechanic changes coming with this character. Hopefully, we'll get to see more in action soon. I don't want to just kind of let the cat out of the bag without having all the details. That's not how I do things. Uh, plus, uh, we also have the release of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles that's coming soon, which I'm personally excited for. And uh, speaking of excitement, uh, actually, um, if you want to squat up for that game, that's also something I'm excited for. But let's talk about excitement, disappointment, and kind of how it, you know, it goes with uh, our gaming. So that's going to be our subject for today. It's all about growth as a player. In general, when starting up a new game, many people get excited for new things to come and to learn all sorts of stuff. However, with this comes a whole wave of more than likely disappointment as well. Frustration can come because perhaps you aren't picking up on something fast enough. Maybe even you've got a bit of a losing streak. It could be a host of things, honestly. Uh, the question is, do you give up or do you keep pushing? Now this is more of a self-reflection thing as opposed to anything else because that answer is really only up to you and you alone. I'm not here to tell you what's right and wrong. What do you want out of this game? What were you expecting? Furthermore, what kind of learner are you? Now these are important factors to be able to determine whether or not you want to continue pouring your time into something. Now here's the thing, if your job is, say, streaming or competitive gaming, then there might be a few other stressing factors that hit, uh, like game popularity and livelihood. If it happens to come down to that, then perhaps, and maybe only perhaps, do these other factors actually play a super important role on top of that. But uh, first off, what do you want out of the game? Do you want to compete? Do you want to climb the rankings? Do you just want to have fun, which hopefully you do? Uh, are you going to play with just friends? Uh, you know, are you going to play with followers and subs? These all can play a factor in your overall excitement and expectations for the game. Speaking of expectations, uh, is the game living up to them? Now granted, especially nowadays, it's extremely rare that a game even fulfills all of your expectations, but does it do enough? The point is that once you start to play and learn about the game, the end result will answer those questions. I feel like getting a good enough understanding is key to all of this. So you can't just play it yourself and then, you know, just kind of be like, well, insert reasons. You might want to discuss it with your friends or associates, maybe. and. I say maybe watch a video. Not everyone can give you an unbiased look and sometimes opinions can be a bit too cherished. We might even do a whole video on that. Moving on, be sure to be fair in your new endeavors. Uh, this honestly can apply to single or multiplayer games. Now this brings us to the most important, well in my opinion anyway, factor. What kind of learner are you? See, a lot of people think that they pick up on things fast and learn fast, when in reality, it might just be one of the two. Yes, there's actually a difference. 
See, when you pick up things fast, it means that you use your own experience to help adapt to the flow of the game and how it plays. This is a pretty impressive skill and somewhat important skill to have, but not having it isn't so bad. Yes, it can be learned, but most of the time I honestly feel that it boils down to instinct for most people. Now, uh, learning fast, again, that's a whole different dimension. It means that when it comes to how the game actually works, and being able to pick up and exploit the mechanics to start out to eke victories or figure things out that the average person may not be able to fully grasp, uh, you know, that ability is important. Uh, just because you learn fast, though, doesn't mean that you're going to win fast, which is why I said possibly you got victories. Um, application and overall skill comes into play. Uh, most people feel as if they don't pick up a game right away and start winning or, you know, progressing the way that they want to. It may not be worth their time. Which, personally, I get it. You know what I mean? I, I can relate. However, I also feel that not everyone who starts up strong will be able to finish strong, or finish at all. It may be just that they started off strong, it's just that. Remember, your slow climb to the top may be more beneficial to you in the end. Uh, that includes helping you understand things that other players just don't, and being able to uh, teach so on and so forth. In the end, uh, being realistic and focusing on what you actually want is important to uh, what you kind of are going to have as far as disappointment and overall experience and excitement. This is a dangerous now because of the aforementioned factors, I stress the importance again of discussing with your peers on games. Get all sorts of viewpoints. That way you can make an informed decision and uh, remember that you want to have fun. Don't be miserable playing a game, even if this may be for your employment. That could honestly be a whole subject on itself as well. But this is such a large subject that I can't cover it in one episode. So we'll definitely be breaking some of this down in a later episode. That's about it though. Hopefully this gives you a bit of food for thought. Uh, knowing and asking yourself these things could you better allocate your time really uh, just remember my goal was to spark thought now uh, this actually can apply to anything so it's a pretty useful subject to digest but let me know what your thoughts are in the comments uh, remember to sub if you like the video and share with a friend you can also contact me via any other uh, way that you know how and uh, please let me know if you have a subject you want to be covered in the future as well I'm always open to suggestions that being said, I'll sign off. Remember, take care of each other, be safe, press buttons, and catch you on the flip side. You want says best believe that you'll catch one. Represent my gang, head shaking like I'm glad to hear. Beat to be ferociously, I'm vicious like the manatee. Probably flavor rapid and just rolling like a Don fan. I'm flame body, everything I do is guaranteed high. Y'all gonna keep this record spinning heavy like a poker stop. I grasp not.